Well, from holiday decor <laughs> to holiday travel, we do have to talk about this because it's going to be a lot of travel. Oh, you yeah. know, Mike and I, we have traveled many times with yes. our babies. That's not, like a school bus not worth fun of travel right at there. All. It's a whole experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, so I don't know. We got an expert. I'm definitely yeah. not this doing one, it this year. I don't know if I can. Well, let's bring in Dr. White. Dr. John White, Chief Medical Officer at WebMD. Dr. White, thank you for joining in on this Coming party or whatever you, craziness. whatever you call this. There's so much to get to. First of all, just quickly in about 30 seconds, what is the psyche of a Grinch-like person who does not like <laughs> Christmas decorations <laughs> at any point? I, doctor, is there a, well, a diagnosis for this? No. Oh, man. We don't have 30 seconds. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> oh, doctor. Dr. Uh, White. Dr. White. Let's talk down. about let's talk about the trouble for everybody in traveling with your yes. family. It's sure. not easy. What are the best tips? And we got a lot of people who are getting ready to hit the roads, rails, and, and air travel. Yeah, and we got to recognize it is stressful. So how do you reduce that stress? And a lot of it is through planning. In, in terms of what time of day are you going to go? Mm -hmm. uh, if you're traveling with kids, I always like to go um, usually right after breakfast if they've already eaten or if they're very young. We used to do it when they would take a nap. Mm -hmm. It's all about the right packing. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that not you just have the right clothes, but that you also have snacks. Because I find that always delays travel. You got to go looking at the airport or people are hungry or you need to make a stop. And you got to pack medicines too. We can't forget about that. Yeah. People get sick. It's about when the they planning. Travel. There's yep. so yep. much yeah. packing. To that point, and when you mentioned medicine, mm -hmm. we and I know Shirley, you have some questions too. But I want to jump in real quick about yes, the medicine yes. thing because people always joke, kind of wink, wink, give them some Benadryl or something like that. Or yeah. now we hear about this melatonin to help people fall asleep, and there are, are are products on the market that market to kids, kids melatonin. And we've talked about it in the news. Is that safe? The overdose. The me the melatonin. Yeah. I'm not a fan of it for kids. And the reason why I say this is someone who worked at the FDA, supplements aren't regulated by the FDA the same way as drugs are. So sometimes there are questions about the purity mm -hmm. of these supplements mm -hmm. and the strength of these supplements. And, you know, it's okay if you're going to do it for yourself, but I won't do it for the kids. Thank and you. one thing I do want to point out if you're traveling with medicines by air, remember, they still enforce that liquid limit, yep. which often is the way kids take medicines. It's 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters. And if it's an over the counter medication, Typically, they'll enforce that. So you want to make sure you have the right sizes if you travel by air. Clearly, there's a lot of planning that goes into play when you're trying to travel with children, especially if you have multiple kids. Mm -hmm. At what point do you say, you know what, maybe, maybe no. Maybe I will not travel with my children. At what point do you make that choice? I mean, no, honestly, like, are there certain age groups that you just like probably shouldn't really want to travel with, with them? I agree. That is very realistic, particularly when they're uh, very young, you know, infants or toddlers. It can be a lot of work, especially if you have multiple kids to do that. And it, it's stressful on us as parents. And there's already stress. And you don't have to have the perfect holiday. You don't have to, um, you know, manage your time such that, you know, you have to be at multiple places. And you really have to take uh, account of your own mental health as well. And you might have to say no, or you might have to limit the number of places that you go. We used to go to both families over Thanksgiving because it was only an hour and a half away and that seemed like a good idea. That's much harder to do <laughs> as your kids get older. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, it's it's yeah. a great point too, and I think rushing around trying to make all those different events and trying <laughs> yeah. to make all those homes, in turn, you have the opposite effect, and the kids feel settled because you're right. unsettled. Right. right. Especially if you're like That's a great point. Across yeah. the country, the time change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Dr. White, that's great. Our well, kids mimic our emotions. We forget that. True. So yeah, they do. You're stressed or you're angry because of all the challenges at, at the airport or on the road. They're going to get stressed and they're going to get angry. We don't always realize that. They they can see our emotions and yeah. they often adopt that. The other thing is I do, I talk to my kids about it. Like, this is what we're going to do. This, this is the plan. This is what's going to happen at the airport. This is on the road. I do say to them ahead of time, we're not stopping. <laughs> so everyone <laughs> go to the bathroom now. Manage expectations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is great. Dr. Well, White, it's, so much. Yeah, and, and happy Thanksgiving to you happy and your family. I hope yeah. you have a great, great holiday. Thank Always you, doctor. Always a pleasure.